All right, let's make the first cup of coffee with this machine. Of course, the first thing you need to do is fill in the water. This is slightly different because it goes on the side. So let's do it. Like, just push it in, simple at the side. And they got a lock sound, you see? You hear that? Yep. All right, now the first cup of uh, coffee. The first thing you need to do is on the button. The on is on the right hand side of my right, over here. Then this shows on. And there's a button here, OK. I don't know what this OK means. Uh, let's try as we discover this uh, machine as uh, this is the first time operating this. I think in between we will find something interesting. Oh, all right. So now I know what it means. After I was talking around and I was figuring out what's going on. So now the OK over here, it shows up a green color means I think that the machine is ready to use. So if we flap it to the left, it's the espresso. It's taking longer than usual. I think this is the first time, so still to play around this. Oops. Oh, I didn't off the button over here. So I don't know why the espresso comes out here, but the filter coffee is operating. Okay, okay, rewind, rewind a bit. The first thing you need to do is, just now the button over here, it was on the frothing side. So I forgot to turn it. Uh, see, there's a lot of froth. So now I change it back to the espresso off it. So I'm offing this at the moment. And let's see how this machine works. Now the OK bowl out. So let's see will it turn OK again or not. Let's do again. Ah, now there's a the water coming out. OK, OK. So just now the mistake that I did was remember to turn the uh, frothing area to off. So now when you push it to the side and the OK button is out. Let's try again. Yeah, correct. Let's do the original first coffee since from just now, talk until now, still haven't no coffee. Okay, not really doing it. So this is my grind coffee. This is 15 gram. I'm trying it out because the other machine I'm using average about 13 to 14. So this round, I'm using 15. Let's try. Oh, different color. I'm using new beans. Yeah. I still think 13 gram is just nice. I think it's a bit too much for 15. Because this is only a 51 mm portal filter, so uh don't be greedy. This let's set it at 13. I'm using 15 is a bit too much. Remember yeah, start from 13 onwards. Let's try this. The usual is from left to right, uh, anti-clockwise. Oh. The sequence of it need to go in is about 8 o'clock or 8.30. So once you fit it in, you just pull it all the way straight to 6 o'clock. Have to be tight straight 6 o'clock. Use a simple glass, put it in. And let's do the coffee! Oh, the glass is moving around. Ooh, look at the crema. The crema is very nice. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Usually, it will count 16 seconds from the moment you turn it to espresso. So, let's look at the color of this. Wow, look at the color of it. The crema color and the ratio balance you see the crema is about half a cm that is really a good crema and the frothing coming out and the coffee area is quite good so this is the first type uh this is the first time I'm using this bin i think it's very famous in shopee so i've been seeing a lot of people are doing that so i'm using this I... sql blend eclipse 
blend so there's a lot of blend in there so i find that this is uh, i quite like this because uh it's medium dark roasted then they have a uh, earthy nutty well balanced delicate sweetness so this is the first time i'm trying it i'm gonna share a bit later and this is about 250 gram and it's only about 18 bucks worth it leh Rewind, rewind a bit ah. Just now got mistake error. It's not SQL, it's SOL. Okay, for all of you who want to buy the beans, it's at the link below. Click on that and then you can check it out. There's plenty of beans and uh, depending on your flavor, what kind you like. Right now, next, let's change it to froth. But before that, take out the photo filter first. Then we change it. This is quite an easy machine because it's only left or right. So left is for coffee, right is for milk. Ta-da! It's just as simple as that. Uh, I think the machine is a bit sensitive. As I turn it over here, I'm not too sure when is it ready or not. So I am assuming when it turns to green color, okay, then we can do it. Okay, let's do it. Now let's spot milk. I buy this little pitcher. This is 150 ml. Uh, you can check on the link below also. Uh, I've been using it for quite a while on my old machine till right now. Uh, usually I'm pouring about 70 ml of milk, which is half of it. And see, doink, doink, doink. The milk I'm using, I'm using the Nestle Full Cream Milk, uh, the professional series. I, I quite like this because it's creamier and easier to get the foam that I want. But uh, in my other machine, it's very hard for me to do any latte. I think the heat is a bit uh, weird. But I've seen people have been using this, ma this machine to do latte art. So I'm very curious to check it out right now. Let's do the latte art. And the different thing is, uh, this is actually the froth, frothing uh, thing is actually very fat compared to my other machine. And uh, let's try with the full version. Uh, if not, then you can actually take it out. But it's already very slim, so I'm not too sure is this the right way. But uh, let's do the fat one first. Let's do it. For a start, what you need to do is you need to get used to the direction that you like. Then press on the machine here. Turn on that. Turn that on. Okay. And you need to test it out whether the froth is doing good or bad. You need to always turn off first. So, when it is all the steam coming out means it's right to go. Let's do it. Ooh, it's so for me. I'm not too sure if this is the right one to do or not. It's more like a cappuccino right now. Ah, I'm disliking the... The fat ass tip again. So I think I might want to change it to the thinner one. Mm. I don't like the milk texture. You can see that. Although it's very smooth. Uh, really impressed. Uh, you really make the whole thing very smooth. It's actually not too bad for the kind of frog that we are looking at. Whoops. Uh, the frog is actually quite thick, quite hot to the liking. Let's try. Uh, it's a bit too thick of the froth so what you need to do is when the froth is very, very thick where it's only half of the pitcher that I pour then now then now the froth is easily half of it so it's a bit too thick so what you need to do is you can just pour the froth out to get the latte texture is about the right ratio on this if not enough then you can pour this froth milk back so you can play around so if there is a bubble in there, always knock. Then let's do it. Ooh, the texture is very nice. 
Okay, let's see if there's any art can be done by a noob people like me. I think can. The froth is actually quite thick. Really not bad. And you look at the ratio of the froth, it's actually very very good. Uh, it's a bit too thick, but then this is the first time using this machine, it's actually not too bad. For a ratio of a latte, it usually has to be 1 cm, the perfect one. And let's try the coffee. Ooh. Now I think that this machine is actually better than Don Lim. Don Lim machine I think had limitation in terms of froth and everything, but I have to play it a few more days. Then I'll do my continuous version after this. And I will try to make a coffee a few more days and then share with all of you what I think about this machine. And I think for a first time using this machine so far, it's so good. And let's drink. Due to unsatisfactory over the first glass, now I'm directly making second glass. Too much coffee, but never mind. Lah. Let's try, try and see. Right now, I'm using about 12 gram of coffee. Unsatisfactory is based on the uh, milk froth, so I'm trying another method. I'm not too sure will it work, but then hopefully lah. Be careful of placing your hand above here. It's actually hot, not warm. Slightly a bit warm, but it really depends on your hand temperature. I can only put here like easily 2 seconds maximum. The main motto is right at this center. This center over here, that's the main heater. I can't put my hand over here, it's very very hot, so you guys have to be aware. Let's do another cup of coffee. Alrighty, let's go. I'm not too sure what's going on, uh, whether the tamping is uh, not right, where you can see a lot of bubble in here right now. But who cares, because right now I just want to do the uh, frothing. Right now, I'm using the short one. Uh, let's see, because uh, the previous, uh, on my, the other machine, they thought, you know, uh, they teach by telling, you know, remove the main big tip to get a very smooth one. So I'm trying the same method, but the problem is, this is too short. But uh, giving it a try and see how it goes. Let's do it. The problem right now is I got a very beautiful froth and just now the uh, crema is really koya so it's like uh, quite a disappoint disappointment but let's try Oh, it seems nearly there but I will try again next round and do it one more round again now it's my second cup of coffee with this and I am more inclined with the frothing without the big tip so I'm definitely going to use a small tip tomorrow Let's check it out Okay, new discovery that I found out is when I am about, when I just now say bye bye and I'm going to clean this the issue right now is it's a bit messy, it's not a drawer kind you can just pull it out then bring the whole thing there This one the problem is because you have to bring you have to bring this thinner steel up then there is a little pocket if it's too full then it's a problem if you just slide it out then it will be very much easy then you have uh, some drip of water over there the process of this machine is just slightly tedious uh, you have to wipe more than the previous one uh, overall I'm going to give my summary 
later. Now I'm going to wash first. Thanks for watching. Like, click, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys need. And thank you. See you guys in my next episode. See ya.